launch of the Three Wise Men Foundation. He joins us this morning to talk more about this. Nathan, good to see you again, my good friend. Good morning. How you been? All right. Three Wise Men. Yep. New foundation. Tell me, first of all, what it's all about, and then we'll talk about the significance of the name. So when I was a kid growing up, uh, um, one of my, my closest friends were my cousins, uh, Jeremy Wise, Ben Wise, and Bo Wise. And so we always called them the Three Wise Men because their last name was Wise, and there was three nice. of them. And it was me and my little brother, and we all grew up together. And, uh, and we all joined the military together. And uh, we estimate that between the five of us, uh, our family did over 3,000 days deployed overseas. Wow. Uh, Jeremy was a Navy SEAL. Uh, I was a Marine, human intelligence, counterintelligence. Ben was an Army Green Beret. Uh, Bo, uh, the, third, the baby Bo, the third wise man, was a Marine. And my little brother still flies uh, F-18s in the Navy yeah, today. It's in the family. It's in the family, and, and you know, tragically, when you think about five people all in combat sure. roles, so many, so many things, the, the odds just aren't in your favor. And, yeah. and tragically, we lost Jeremy December 30th of 2009 in Afghanistan to a suicide bomber. And then just over two years later, we lost Ben, uh, mm -hmm. who was also killed in Afghanistan. And you know, over the course of the last year, as I've watched the scandal that plagued the VA, we've watched the, the horrible statistics of returning veterans with suicide and unemployment rate. I realize that, that you know these veterans all fought for our country, and we need to fight for them a little bit. So we started the Three Wise Men Foundation, yeah. really to honor Bo, the third wise man, the one who made it back. Yeah. Um, because those that we lost in combat, we, we honor their legacy, we sure. remember them. Uh, but we really got to focus on those returning veterans. The statistic is so hard to believe. We've talked about this uh, over the years, but it really is staggering. It's hard to believe when you think about yeah. the between 20 and 50 veterans kill themselves every day, every day. in our country. When they come back, something, yep. something is going horribly wrong that when they come back, they don't have the necessary tools right. to handle with what, they, what they've witnessed, what they've experienced, what yeah. they've gone through. How but do you guys plan to make this change? Well, but I, but I mean, think about it for a second, because you're right. Like, as a parent, as a parent, think about that, that horrific phone call that says, hey, your child was lost in combat. Yeah. Right. But think about how much worse it is when they survived combat. Mm -hmm. Right? They made it home. You're happy. They made it home. They made it. They're, you're going to be with them. And then you get a call that says they can't survive the peace. And, and, and I think that there's a number of factors that go into it. It's never, it's never just one thing. I think there's sure. a number of factors. There's a little bit of a sense of isolation. It used to be 10% of America served right. in uniform. It's now less than 1%. Um, and so veterans come back. They feel a little bit isolated. Sure. Uh, they have a hard time getting jobs. Uh, the unemployment rate for post-9-11 veterans is much higher than the unemployment rate for the general civilian. Right. Um, and, and then a lot of them are struggling. And if you think about the military culture, you know, I'm a Marine, and right. we're proud of that. And we say, hey, you can do anything. Right. You can fight through anything. It's never too hot. It's never too cold. You just keep going. You suck it up. You do it. But then when they come back and they're struggling with PTSD and Survivor's yeah. Guild and, and maybe drug or alcohol abuse, you got to do the opposite. You've got to ask for help. And so our message through the Three Wise Men Foundation to America's Veterans is it's okay to ask for help. Right. You were a warrior for your country, and now you need to come back, and you need to fight for your family, and you need to fight for your kids. And, 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 and there's, there's nothing in the military that taught you to give up and commit suicide. And so we're, we're raising awareness, yeah. we're reaching veterans, and then we're supporting organizations that are helping veterans. You've done this. You've been there. You've been in war. Right. There are a lot of guys out there, and women as well, who are watching this. Uh, they're in the same boat now. Yeah. Uh, they're struggling. What can you tell them? when they feel alone and you know that moment of, right. of, uh, of isolation you're, right. you're in your apartment or you're in your house in yeah. your room by yourself you're watching TV and there is nothing really lonelier than that moment oh, when you awful. think there's nothing well, ad address them right now if yeah. for the, even maybe the one person who's watching that you can help out right now with well, a message. And, and that's I mean and, and I think our message to them is simple you know it just says that we we care about you yeah. uh, we know that what you went through is difficult <laughs> and hard and we, we want you to seek help. There's a lot of veterans out there who went through similar things. And, you know, Courage to Call is one of our local partners. It's a tremendous right. program. It says you have the courage to fight for our country. Have the courage and call to ask for help. You can call 211 here local in San Diego. You'll get a veteran and a veteran who will walk you through and, and provide that help. And, that's, and that's, that message and, and is easier to accept when it's coming. When from it's coming from a veteran. Look, yeah. you're going to call. You're yeah. going to call there and you're going to talk to a vet who knows what you're going right. through, who knows right. what you've been through, who's not going to judge you. Um, but you've got to have that courage to call and ask for help. And, you know, everything in the military we taught you said that you deal with it, you fight right, through, you get right. it done, and, and you can't give up. And you right. can't give up. Um, and that really is our, our, our message to veterans out there today to say, look, we know you're struggling. We know it's hard. But there's a lot of people here who want to help. 
uh, and there's a lot of people that will partner Let's with Let's quickly talk about th this big event you're holding. Tell me about that. Yeah, so the October first 18th? event, the first event on Three Wiseman Foundation is on October 18th on the deck of the Midway. We're, we're really excited. Yeah. Uh, we're having it's a CrossFit style competition. We got some of the top professional athletes that are coming in. Uh, we have time for, for us regular uh, athletes to come out and compete, but we're going to have a great day on the deck of the Midway. We're going to do the workout. Uh, we're going to have good music and good food and good fellowship. We're going to have a lot of veteran service providing organizations on deck. We're going to recognize our veterans and start making those connections. Awesome. And so, and everyone's welcome to come out Open and join us. Open for everybody. Open for sure. everyone. Three Wise Men Tribute .org. Uh, Buy a ticket. Family friendly event. And and a, a ticket to the event gets you full day admission to the Midway Museum, which is just an amazing place to that. be. Anyway, Nathan Fletcher. So it'll be fun. Always a pleasure. We'll see you out there.